made you? And the dad said, well, God made me. And then the little boy inquired again, Dad, who made granddad? And the dad said, God made him son. Dad, who made great granddad? And the dad with patience said, well, God made him son. Why do you ask? The boy looked for a while, looked at the mirror and said, well, it's just him that he's been doing a good job in recent years. <laughs> you see, who we are is what God blesses us. Well, our scripture today from Mark chapter 10, verse 14 and following is this. He said, let the little children come to me. In Jewish tradition, we know that the parents bring their children to the great rabbi or teacher so that he could bless them and pray for them. It was common for parents to take their children to the synagogue where, they, where each of the elders would take the child individually and bless them. Well, James and Rose, you are given a task of raising up jewel Rose to a complete state of dependence, to a complete state of independence. You see, there are three things in this passage before we come together in this wonderful dedication that God is telling us in the book of Mark. First is lesson on service. You see, the Bible is telling us that children are lent to us by God for a while. And I believe that the spiritual priority of any parent in any denomination or any culture should be like this. God first, family second, career or ministry third. But here in Canada, we kind of make it switch in different ways. Career first, God later. And that's why many things in our family is in turmoil. You see, you don't come to a church to be religious. You come to a church to gain relationship with Him. Because all our life belongs to Him. Our breath, our wealth, everything belongs to Him. You see, when you were born, our hand is grasping something. People by nature or children by nature will always be selfish. That's mine. That's my toy. That's my dad. But you see, at the end of life, all the grasping that we have in this in world, in this world, in our day when all is said and done, in our funeral, we will lose it. You see, this is what God's desire for all of us to take care of our kids. That's why we need to serve God with all our hearts. Parents should do everything in their power to ensure that their children are exposed to the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. This means that you bring your children to church. You know, God has given us six days to do whatever we wish us, but the seventh day, keep it holy. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 said it with his words, Bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. You see, nurture here refers to the whole training and education of our children. When you have a godly attitude as parents, you will have godly kids. I didn't say religious. I said godly. There's a big difference. We have a Tagalog saying, "O ano puno, yun ang buwan. In English, whatever the tree is, the fruit will be. You see, we people in the church are not perfect. We are just forgiven, living one day at a time. According to recent Gallup survey, 19 out of 20 people who became Christians did so before the age of 25. At the age of 25, 1 in 10,000 will become believers. 